and think about some of your best childhood memories. Think about them. How many used to camp? How many used to camp growing up? How many wish you had a little more time to camp today, right? Yeah, or how many used to play, anybody play wiffle ball? Yeah, yeah, wouldn't that, man, we had fun doing that. And all those wonderful things that were just so beautiful years and years and years ago. And now, how many get kind of sad when we play wiffle ball on the Wii, or they fooled us and saying, hey, come on inside, you don't have to go outside, you can do it here on this, on this stuff, you know, and they think this, this is fun, and it's nice that families are together, but what is it doing to us? And then our heads are stuck in technology and, and looking in, 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 in around it all day long. Take a look at video game sales. Isn't that interesting? Where they've headed over the past uh, uh, three or four years. Take a look at this slide. I get a kick out of this slide. From 1975 up, the, the percentage of Americans with, with three television sets just gone. How many have, um, we won't ask. <laughs> I, won't, I won't embarrass us all, okay? So the th television sets, percentage of American homes with computers, not surprising. Com percentage of American homes, uh, adults who own a cell phone. How many of you remember as, as kids? when the phone would ring, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the same for you, but the phone would ring, what would, what would somebody say? Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, the phone's ringing. Yeah, I know, get it, answer it. No, you answer it. No, you answer it. No, you answer it. What happens today when the phone rings? Yeah, how many heard the, and had the cell phone go off over here and all of you went, just almost like that? <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's just quick draw, and we're all conditioned to do that. And so it's great, the technology is wonderful, but it, it, what it is doing to us in the long run, take a look at these numbers here. Hours spent consuming media per day for young people ages 8 to 18. Our kids are spending eight and a half hours being consumed by technology. What are you thinking of that? And that was back in 2010. How many believe it's probably a little higher today? and going to be higher tomorrow, and going to be higher the next day. And thinking about what this is doing for us. And not only from a health standpoint, but also from a, a business standpoint. Has anybody asked you to come and build a uh, Wii stand for me outside? <laughs> All right? No, no, that's not happening. That's, it, it, those kind of things aren't, aren't happening. This, so with that, so come alive outside is really about getting people to just wake back up and get outside and scar their knees up a little bit. How many of you have more, uh, more scars on your knees than maybe what your kids do? Think about it. And, you're, and, and, and uh, you ask that a lot and you see people saying, yeah, I get it, I know what you're saying. So there's come alive outside or we were thinking about maybe if, you, if this doesn't catch on, we're going to go towards the, the slow death inside. Uh, it might be a, something that we start to think about. <laughs> Just think what's happening there with, uh, with that. that. Whoever's marketing this one is winning right now, unfortunately. So we've got to go, like, overcome the slow death inside movement that is putting us all, just think what it's doing. Just really, think what it's doing. We've been, we were in here the past two days with, uh, with Bellegarde, and, um, and they're, they're just so involved in the outdoor living movement and outdoor spaces, and you're going to hear more and more and more about them, some of the great things that they're doing. And, uh, uh, and, we, and we got to talking about uh, things like this. And somebody said, you know, I read yesterday in a, a little article, the average age today, the average age today for type 2 diabetes is 55 years old. He said it's estimated by 2025, the average age for type 2 diabetes is going to be 11 years old. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's research, that's, who, that's studies, and who knows, but what if they're only half right on that, you know? Think where that's headed and what that's doing to us. Those are the things that we're really concerned about and feel about. Look at these, unhealthy weight levels for adults. Look where we're at. Our, uh, back in the 60s with our parents, uh, the, the, what, the percentage of adults who were obese. Look where it is today and where it's headed to. Percentage of adults who are overweight. Look where it is today. This is the one when I throw this slide up, I, I feel terrible. Take a look at it. Percentage of children with obesity. Look where we are, preschool children. Look where we are with adolescents. Over 15% of the children today are considered obese. Is there any wonder why um, 
the concept of bullying is talked about more and the things that are happening with that. What is this going to do to our, to, I mean, health care? And what is this going to do just to, 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 the, to the U.S. in the years to come when that group starts to move into adulthood and starts to move into, into uh, 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 middle age and, and, and on and on? Those are the kind of things we're battling. It's kind of, it's, I, I don't know if you see a correlation here between the two. <laughs> Anybody see it? Yeah? The idea of fast food sales, where it's headed and where it's going and what it's been able to do over the last... And, and, and it's, you know, there's, there's, there's good things to that. It's created lots of income for people. And, uh, but look what it's, it's doing. Percentage of adults who sleep fewer than six hours. How many are starting to fall, fall into that? Every time I put this one up, I go, I'm going to get past that one real quick, okay? Yeah. We got this. We got that. We got, and somebody said one time, never have we been, there have been so many time-saving devices and so little time to use them. We're stuck looking at this technology. And then we get to this, to this. And I don't know if this is just great marketing uh, from the drug dealers or the drug, or the prescription companies. I mean, not drug dealers, drug companies is what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For the percentage of children prescribed medicine for ADHD. Think about what's happening here with this. Think where we've gone in, in, over the last... Uh, 30 years from there up, uh, up to there. Let's throw pills at them. Let's throw that at them. That's why come alive outside is such an important thing for us to focus on. Come alive outside becomes such an important thing for us to do far beyond, far beyond just a, a, a slogan is what we want to do. One of the first things that started to happen after come alive outside in a better way and we started to talk about it was uh, the, the young man up there in the, in the, uh, holding up the, the piece of sod, teaching eight, nine, and 10-year-olds is um, uh, um, Andy, what's Andy's last name? Andy, Andy, Andy Blanchford from out in Montana, teaching him about erosion, teaching him about er er erosion. People putting in children's gardens, doing, uh, teaching them how to, uh, to plant gardens, teaching and designing children's gardens. That's exciting stuff right, right there. And then we started talking about children's gardens and people started sending us pictures of things that they're doing and getting kids out, out, outside and starting to talk and become more aware of them. People starting to uh, blog 